Zentreya's voice to text, text to speech has shown and inspired so many new VTubers and older VTubers alike that they don't have to use their own voice to make VTubing content. And for the past few weeks, I have scoured high and low across the internet trying to find a free way to do this. And I happened to come across a Twitter post showing a piece of software that might be the answer. Hello everyone, I'm your VTuber Senpai and today I'm going to show you on how to use speech to text to speech just like Zentreya. The method we will be using today will be through a website and the website will be linked in the description bar down below. The website we'll be using today is webcaptioner.com. This is a Google Chrome only website, so make sure you are using Google Chrome. Now what we're going to do is head to start captioning. Right here, we're going to have a black screen. What we're going to do is go down to the bottom right hand side. We are going to go to the settings. At the settings, we're going to click on experiments. Then we're going to click on speak everything back and we're going to click on add. Then we're going to check all three of these boxes and click on add experiment. We are going to then click on the X and then we are going to click on start captioning. It will pop up somewhere in the middle right here that says it wants to have access to your microphone. Just click allow. And then once you do that, you're going to click this. You want to make sure you are speaking very loud and clear. So when the software transcribes what you're saying, it does actually record it properly and speaks it back to you correctly. You want to make sure you are speaking very loud and clear so when the software transcribes what you're saying it does actually record it properly and speaks it back to you correct. The software itself is not always 100% accurate but with a lot of practice and time you'll learn on how it will pick you up and understand you. Right now at the time of this video being made this website only supports a female voice but they do say that they will support other voices down the road. The next thing we need to do is download the program called Virtual Audio Cable. So here at Google, what we're gonna do is just type in Virtual Audio Cable. We're gonna scroll down as we see, we've seen the site before. We're gonna click that button right there and we are gonna download it for our respective operating system, in this case, Windows. Once you're done doing that, you're going to extract the file and install it. Once you're done installing the software, please make sure you restart your computer. Now what we're gonna do is the bottom left search bar, we are gonna type in sound. This window will now appear. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna click on sound control panel. We're gonna scroll and we're gonna see that audio input by virtual audio cable is installed. That's perfect. Now what we wanna do is open our Google Chrome Make sure Web Captioner is open. We are also going to just close that a little bit and we are going to go click on App Volume and Device Preferences. Before we play too much in the App Volume and Devices Preferences menu, we will click on the Recording tab under Sound. We're going to scroll down a little bit. We are going to right click. We're going to hit Properties. We're going to click on Listen and we're going to click on Listen to this device. We're going to click apply and we are going to click OK. And now what we want to do is scroll down just a little bit until we see Google Chrome. Under default, what we want to do is change the cable input to virtual audio cable. Then what we can now do is test and make sure virtual output actually detects the web captioner. So let's do a test. Right now, web captioner should be captured by audio cable. Right now, web captioner should be captured by audio cable. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is open up two VTubing applications for an example. First example will be 310A. With 310A open, what we need to do is go to the make avatar adjustments. Then we're going to click on settings. Under settings, we're going to change lip sync voice input to cable output. We're going to click on save settings and we are going to restart the application. With the application restarted, what we're going to do is we're going to click on toggle tracking. We're going to start everything up. And we are just going to make sure we reset our 
avatar's position, just like so, we're going to turn on the web captioning. Hello. Hello. And as you see, my mouth moves as I speak. And as you see, my mouth moves as I speak. Perfect. Now let's go into VC face for some setup. Let's click on the settings, general settings. Let's make sure audio lip sync is turned on and hybrid lip sync is turned on as well. We're going to scroll down just a little bit and we are going to make sure the microphone is changed to cable output audio virtual cable. We're going to close that and then we're going to enable this again. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Perfect. And in OBS, we're going to have to change a particular setting as well. In OBS, what we're going to do is have to hit settings. We are going to go to audio and then microphone. We're going to change it from default or disabled to cable out. By doing this, we are ensuring that OBS is not recording anything like your real microphone and just the virtual audio cable. Now there are VTubing applications that track audio lip sync better than others. So you will have to play around and fiddle with it to see which one will work better for you. But just like that, you're all done and ready to go. If you found today's tutorial useful, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It really does help out the video and the channel. I also stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.